Okay then. Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folani and my guest this morning is um, Haji Hassan Abdul Aziz Sani. Thank you very much for coming. Communications professional and opinion molder. Um, the president is on the move. He has an itinerary, um, you know, where there's been a lot of um, strife, you know, let, let, let it be said. Uh, the president has started off his uh, planned, what, condolence visit, uh, uh, among other things, to Taraba Jalingo. Now, the way we hear it is that the president has considered carefully the situation reports that he had ordered, and um, having studied it, he's decided, uh, you know what, I'm going to take an on-the-spot on um, assessment tour. Um, well, people have been clamoring for the president to do precisely this. So it's in order, right, uh, Hassan? It's in order, whatever was the reason for it not having happened before, it has now started to happen. Is it going to be helpful? Yeah, it's going to be helpful. Uh, you know, President, with due respect to President General Muhammad Buhari, uh, he is more in a position of intelligence information than anybody. And he is a leader and a considerate leader of Nigeria. And people have their reason whatsoever. See, in the governance, constructive criticism, mm -hmm. even the negative one, is highly welcome. It helps the governance. When people are saying it, Mr. President responded. You know, what is very clear about our president, this is the first time you are having a president that speaks from his mind to the Nigerians. How do you mean? That's it. What I'm saying here is this. Uh, is a politician come statesman in the sense that he is much more, his emphasis is much more on the next generation, not the next election. Unlike most of our politicians. You see, he said it to us by telling us that, look, I'm very much on the ground studying the intelligence report. You should not expect me to go to the battlefield and be making noise to insult the sensibilities of Nigerians. I'm studying it and we are on top of it. I have my service chiefs. You see, we have one advice. There's, there's an advantage that is going. There's one thing that is going for the president. He was a former head of state of Nigeria, military head of state, and a rugged soldier, a fighter. And he was in that Aziz before. He served diligently in that Aziz, northeast. He fought the Chadian rebels when they make an in intrusion into the Nigeria's territory. So uh, he's much more on the ground. The service chiefs, there's nothing they will tell him. He knew everything on the ground. Okay. But, but when he, uh, according to reports um, in Taraba, he actually didn't meet. It, it was planned, but reports say he didn't get to meet with the victims. Um, he didn't get to meet with, he didn't go to any internally displaced people's camp. Uh, and those are the real uh, people. In fact, uh, you know, it has been said from there that, look, it would appear that the president, and when they come out, these things come out, we'll air them. Uh, the critics will say that the president visited where he thought um, he had a quote unquote greater stake. In other, in other words, where he didn't go to where people were saying the Fulani had, you know, killed so many people back in January. Why didn't you go there to show sympathy? Why didn't you meet with anybody? Why was it limited to the governor, uh, the state house of assemblymen, 
you know, in, in short, in air-conditioned offices, officials, state officials, not going, as it were, into the field, even as you are saying that the president is a field man, he served as a field man, but this time around it didn't work out like that. Do you think this might, because the minds of the people, according to reports, uh, are looking at this and saying that he hasn't come to sympathize with us? Um, it's very clear. I'm not saying Mr. President is right 100%. You can be good, but there might be some fault in your strategies. Um, even the intelligence itself needs to be scrutinized. Because the intelligence are human beings like us. And they can decide not to decide. They can decide to distort information they can decide to do whatsoever. We have seen the example of that in what happened in, uh, in America when CIA fed the power that be about Saddam Hussein, about the chemical weapons stocked in Iraq, in which it was later found out that it was just a ruse. So while we are talking about intelligence, as far as I'm concerned, we. Mr. President must work with intelligence. Okay. But what is very clear, it reminds me of Fela song, a track called Teacher, Don't Teach Me Nonsense. When you read your book, you should now use your sense because somebody is the author of that intelligence report. Mm. As a president, after reading the intelligence report, go there and do on a sport assessment. It will help you more. And when you go to, inter when you interact, you see, when President got to Taraba, I saw it on the screen, he interacted with the traditional rulers, the governor, who happened to be the chief security officer of the state. And that is the first point of call. There's no problem in that. Mm. And he interacted, he interacted with the emirs and their chiefs. Yes. And, he, and said, he passed a message to them mm -hmm. that please, please and please, you should go in there, communicate to your people effectively, and right the wrongs. It's a message. Because you people are closest to the people, you people and are you are the better rulers. positioned to do to this do work that. than government. And, and you know, what is really happening is this. As a leader, he's a full animal to the core. And for him, there was an accusation first made during the first incident in Mambila. When he sent the federal government delegation, Minister of Interior, Minister of Defense, Minister of Information, all the federal government for an area were all there. Do you know the accusation against him? They said, he gave much more emphasis to them by sending the entourage because those people were Fulanis. I look at him and look, Nigeria is like a silk, it's like a gown, you know, made with a silk, silk material or damask. Whereby, as you are drawing this one, this one is pulled down. That's what you are seeing. Whatsoever you do, whatsoever you say, people will still have something to say. Indeed. Some are constructive. Okay. But some are tainted with negative feelings. Okay. When people, well, I suppose we'll be looking forward. We don't want to be looking too much back. But there are those who are saying that this is like a belated gesture from the president, and these would be critics, of course. You've just explained your concept of how, look, these things are not like that. You, there are so many aspects. Intelligence is one thing. Um, and you, 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 you actually remembered America. You referred to something in America. And that reminded me also that, um, was it not, um, I, I think it was President Bush, it was during his time, Al-Qaeda hit, and the Twin Towers. And you know, remember that Bush was going about his business. They don't warn anybody when these things happened. It happened, he had to find a way to interrupt what he was doing, make a U-turn, so to speak, 
and was at what has become known as Ground Zero on the very, very day. And the explanations we got to hear was that it was so important that the president, the number one citizen in the country, be seen to keep up morale and just say that we are America. This is too small. It looks terrible, but we're going to come out of this. No more than that. Yeah. No more than that, but yeah. the whole nation being able to rally around one person. So that whole matter of timeliness, they also have security. So I'm, I'm guessing that it, it, it also was a matter of, I don't think anybody would have said to President Bush that, Mr. President, you've got to be there. It was what he wanted, he then made happen. The security and the intelligence swing into overdrive, I'm going to be there. America has been hit, I'm going to be there. So there were those who probably are thinking that, look, when these kind of things happen, Nigeria has been hit, and I've got to show who I am. I'm the president of every Nigerian. I'm just going to be there to show that we, we all howl in protest about this. Uh, that's not an unreasonable assumption. Yes, it's a reasonable assumption. It's a reasonable assumption. You see, I, I made one thing very clear to people that care to listen. Now look. You might be right, but the strategy, you might be saying the truth, but the strategy employed by you to express the truth might be faulty. Look, I'm not saying Mr. President is right, no. I'm saying that, look, the issue is this. When you look at the intelligence report, that is his own strategy of doing things. Okay. He said he's very careful in doing things, and some people even tagged him uh, 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 Mr. Goslow, <laughs> and he said it to the hearing of all. <laughs> you see, what is very clear, there's a need for improvement. There's a need for you to be... Okay, in, in the president's uh, sort of PR engagement. Yes. Yes, with the people. There should be promptness. There should be promptness, no matter what. When something of a national emergency of that... Uh, 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 kind of a thing mm, happen, mm, mm, you understand? Mm. There's a need for you to it, be very prompt exactly. and, and show, because let me tell you one thing. You see, even the intelligence, the military, the paramilitary and co, I'm very sorry to say it here on, on screen. They look up to the president. They look at the body language of the president. They look at the actions of the president to act. That's why at times in some parlance they call them eye service uh, 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 what, the, what do they call it? I service organization and what have you. Mm -hmm. You understand? In the sense that when a leader said this, they will follow. Yes. And it will go a long way for him to be there. You understand? Exactly. It will go a long way. Because I don't think any security service anywhere is going to say to any president. I'm saying that, look, the issue is this. When you look at the intelligence report, that is his own strategy of doing things. Okay. He said he's very careful in doing things, and some people even tagged him, uh, 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 Mr. Goslow, <laughs> and he said it to the hearing of all. <laughs> you see, what is very clear, there's a need for improvement. There's a need for you to be... Okay, in, in the president's uh, sort of PR engagement? Yes. Yes, with the people. There should be promptness. There should be promptness, no matter what. When something of a national emergency of that... Uh, 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 kind of a thing mm, happen, mm, you understand? Mm. There's a need for you it, to be it, very prompt exactly. and, and show, because let me tell you one thing. You see, even the intelligence, the military, the paramilitary and co, I'm very sorry to say it here on, on screen. They look up to the president. They look at the body language of the president. They look at the actions of the president to act. That's why at times in some parlance they call them I service, uh, 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 what, the, what do they call it? I service organization and what have you. Mm -hmm. You understand? In the sense that when a leader said this, they will follow. Yes. And it will go a long way for him to be there. You understand? Exactly. It will go a long way. Because I don't think any security service anywhere is going to say to any president that, uh, Mr. President, uh, we, we think in our security intelligence knowledge that you, you need to visit. No, 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 no. That's not their business. Is the, it's personal. is the president who, who, who knows that I feel enough, I want to be there. Then the specialist might say, ah, Mr. President, this thing you want to say, I say that's what I want. 
I am going to be there one way or the other. For example, I just, I just made that up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm saying that, look, presidents can be like that, and then everybody has this problem. Hey, hey the president has said he's going to be there. All systems go. Everything, throw everything over to your Dapchi. The president is going to be in Dapchi willy-nilly. But this whole one about, uh, but in the meantime, somebody has come on. Uh, is hacking just good morning? Good morning, Good morning, sir. Thank you for good calling morning, in. Good morning, sir. Sure. I'm sure I'm coming from just. Okay. Yes, I already, uh, Mr. President's visit to Sahaba is welcome the Bologna. Although I believe the visit is coming rather too late. Although it's better late than never. Yeah. I want to, I want, I hope this visit, visit will not just be talk like any other visit. Uh, it will give the President all kind of information. And I want to advise the president to use this as a proactive nature so that the issue of security for our security agency should be proactive, not reactive to issues. In the case of that deal that we have adopted, I thought that of Chibot was going to be the end of such abduction in Nigeria. But to our greatest surprise, this is happening under the same administration. I think our security has gone to sleep. Why would they wait as uh, over 100 years were loaded? Why is the intelligence? Where are the synergy? Are they not working? They're not working in synergy. I think the right time is the president reshuffled the, the security architecture mm. and the security chief of the nation and do away some, with some closest aides of his who are not advising him. I mean, they are only interested in keeping their job. I think we need to be proactive and rely on intelligence. So it's like the, the, the stories are even more, they gather more intelligence than even our security. So I think that's my take. I appreciate Mr. President. Mr. President, this is I appeal to Mr. President not to not always wait until citizens now call for him to visit crisis for area before he visits. He's a commander in chief. He visits and send the right signal that yes. Mm. Government is in control. That's what they can Indeed. Thank you uh, very much for calling. So it goes back to um, uh, the, the personality, shall we say, of the president. Presidents will differ, you know. The way Obasanjo, you know, uh, acts is not the way good luck acts. It's not the way Buhari will act. But people have their own concept of who their president is. And usually it's a human concept. Yes. Usually it's a human, it's concept, a human concept from yeah. up and down the land that when things happen in all our societies, people sympathize. Yes. And that's the most important thing. Uh, so the president, no doubt, sympathizes, no doubt is greatly distressed by all of this, but you are an opinion molder yourself. You're, comp you're a communications professional. All of that is one thing. The, whether it is communicated and the way it is communicated, you, you've used the word strategy, all of those things. I think going forward, the president's men, and perhaps led by the president himself, because the president's men can only do what the president allows, uh, they're going to have to work out their strategy. They, you, you know there's criticism on the, world, on, on the ground about the wedding that was attended over the weekend coming before any sympathizing visit. Uh, so these things will always happen if people don't think out their strategy or people don't worry about what's going to be this interpretation of this particular kind of uh, an event. You know, um, whatsoever we say, some things are within the prerogatives of Mr. President. And some things are uh, under the powers of the security men around you. Mm -hmm. They dictate most times. It's left yes. for the president yes. to do the needful. Okay. And we are now beginning to see some, some of the security men, you know, going their own way to do their own things in their own way, not in the ways of Nigeria. They should begin to tailor their intelligence, their security, in conformity, in congenial, with our wishes in Nigeria. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And Mr. President also, you see, what is very clear here, I, I mooted a word in a fora. I said, look, Mr. President should feel safe in Nigeria because he is the landlord. He is the leader of Nigeria. And Mr. President was all over the country campaigning prior to the election. 
as a president of Nigeria, why can't he replicate the same thing now? Why? Why? That, 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 is, that is the question. Because that time, your security is not even so guaranteed because you are, you are a contestant. But now you are in charge. You are the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Nigeria. Indeed. You have nothing to fear. Yeah. And you have a force and information. All these guys within the military circles, all the guys were far, far juniors to him in terms of experience and everything. Sure. Jonathan can be forgiven because he's, he's, he's a novice, you understand, in the system. But a president was formerly a, a military commander. He was formerly a general officer commanding. He was formerly a governor of more than five states combined. He was formerly a fighter. He was on the field fighting. You understand? He subdued the Chadian rebels by then. So I see but wasn't, why... But he wasn't a politician all those while but, that while. But, he was but, more of a military Military guy. But do you, guy. But, do, but do you know one thing? But now he's become when a people, politician. When people are saying Buhari is not a politician, Yes. When people are saying Buhari is not a politician, I laugh at them. I say, what does it take to be a politician? This what? man contested more than three, four times. Yeah, but, the, but what I meant, what I meant when I said, you know, he was not a politician then and is a politician now, uh, maybe just the fact that politicians have to press flesh. Mm -hmm. Look, after all the midnight strategy meetings, you've got to press flesh. You've got to touch. You've got to touch the people. Yes. In an emotional sort of way, but we, we, we have we have the president in in Taraba. We have footage of that. Let Let's take some of that now. Very concerned of the simplified modernization, first the security. The country has to be secured before before we can manage it. If there are no security, nothing can be done. And then the economy, employment of everybody, and then of both fighting corruption in all its forms. And for me to rush and go to the field and make noise and be his role to my juniors. But what I received, the intelligence I received of pictures, people with AK 47, I said, those who are arrested must be prosecuted and it must be given for this. We have started recording the first rainfall in our area. While our refugees, in their thousands, they are still languishing in the Cameroon. And Maybe in the next two, three weeks, when the rains start coming in full swing, they may not return again, Your Excellency. We appeal to Your Excellency, it's a matter of urgency, to kindly help us get these people repatriated back to Nigeria and resettled. And the perpetrators of the injustice meted to our, to our people, whom were known to all the security operatives in the country or in our state, they should be arrested. All crises that started on the Mambila Plateau, and I repeat all, and I can quote them, were always started by our brothers, the Fulani. Why, how, I don't know. They are impatient. The Mambila man is as patient as the cold of the Mambila Plateau. Mambila Plateau, you have been there. It's very cold. And the Mambila man has lived there for over five millennia. This is how history book tells us. And your Excellency, our hearts are so cold like that. The attack by some fashionists from Adama State collaborated with the people of Lao, that is the Nyanda community. Sixteen people were killed. I went there with the police and the military up to Kati. For the past 300 years, these people are living peacefully. They intermarried. They speak the same language, but both of them are speaking. Some of these people are hired militia. They are hired militia. And they are hired by some flurry. So if we don't hire somebody hired militia like this, we have to say, okay, you've hired people. But it's not for, it's, they, they have, we no longer appreciate the issue of peaceful coexistence. However, the damage has been done. There are losses on both sides. Repressors and counter repressors will never solve our problem. So we have, we have proposed solutions to these problems. I want to thank you that for every step, or for everything that happened in this case, you have had a passion and a personal liking to knowing and wanting Taraba.
to be at peace. Okay, so footage of the president over in Taraba. Um, we'll come and talk about the pictures that maybe a lot of people were wanting to see, maybe see him at IDP camps, maybe see him sympathizing in Mambila. Those are the pictures that are, we're, you know, field pictures. None of that for now. Uh, Sam Omashe is on the line. Good morning. Good morning, Yuri. Good morning, Sam. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah. First, first I want to um, urge you to, to put the... Um, number on the screen so people can call in. I had to use my own privilege with, uh, with your, <laughs> your station to get this number. Okay, Sam. So that, that aside, as one anchor uh, to another, I mean, Sam, as one anchor to another, we'll, 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 we'll fix that. Okay. <laughs> no well, my own, my own point is that the gentleman of, uh, who is your guest. Yes. Uh, Hassan Abdulaziz, Sonny. Yes, he's a little too um, too gentle on the president, and not even fair to the president by being too gentle on him, because the president round of trips have uh, shown that he's out of touch with the thoughts of the people. When there is rage in the land, he responds accordingly. People do not have to walk according to the president's clock. The president has to walk according to the people's clock. You don't come to a president state after a month that the people were slaughtered and the mass there was undertaken. You don't do that at your own clock. The president has to learn to understand that in a democracy, things happen on impulse. And spontaneous reaction is more important than a teleguided mathematical and methodical show of concern. So when you have finished burying your dead and you are trying to forget about the dead, you are coming in to wake up the wound. Mm -hmm. It is not the way to lead. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, Sam. Sam Amashia. Yeah. Sam also has, you know, a, a program on TVC. But, I know. Uh, I know. Yes. So um, again, okay. Do you have any comments? Since he he, he, <laughs> he commented, he said, uh, "I'm very very soft on of Mr. President." And I don't know how far I can go about it. I don't know. I'm much more... But, but between, do you understand him? Do you yes, understand what he's I saying? understood him yeah. very well. Uh, it's about being prompt. I said it earlier, that uh, the president should be prompt. And I now refer to him that he should not be delegated by is, the do you think security the agents. Sam brought something up. Do you think the president is out of touch? Because that came up in what Sam has said. Out and I've also heard. By, out of touch by how? Out of touch with, with the people and what the pains of the people are and how the people really feel. And uh, that is something that needs to be uh, approached, if not addressed. I don't, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Uh, it's not out of touch. And when you look at the people... Because, because if, if it were so, you'd probably, any normal, uh, well, any person would know that ah, Mambila people are grieving now. They're in a very, very bad way. Call me, they call me. I got to be there. Five minutes. I've just got to show you and see, press flesh for him, that when, when I, I am with you in this. When I heard that, Mr. He President... He might feel that he didn't... When I heard nobody of his, knows When it. I heard of his visit to Taraba, I expected Mr. President to be in Mambila, to have one-on-one -on -one it was your interaction expectation. with the environment and the people involved. So the president surprised but the issue, you. But the issue is this. By disappointing you. The issue is, is this. It's not disappointing. It's not disappointing. It's about strategy. strategy. You see, it's about strategy. Okay. Strategy in the sense that he visited the state. We don't know the discussion. I expected Mr. President to be in Mambila, to have one-on-one -on -one interaction expectation. with the environment and the people involved. So the president surprised but the issue, you. But the issue is this. By disappointing you. The issue is, is this. It's not disappointing. It's not disappointing. It's about strategy. strategy. You see, it's about strategy. Okay. Strategy in the sense that he visited the state. We don't know the discussion behind the cloud discussion mm -hmm. that he had with the chief security officer of the state. Yes, yes. Okay. Maybe some of the victims are around. But all that we knew is this. The leaders, mm. the leaders of each community are well represented in the governor's house. But you know, one thing is very clear here. I said one thing 
let me remind you again. I refer to Fela Anukula Pokuti in his track, Teacher, Don't Teach Me Nonsense. Okay, let, let me go when on you break. look, when I, you look I didn't at quite your book, understand the relevance of the that. Relevance, maybe maybe the relevance, when we come back, I'll, the, get, I'll get the full the story. The relevance of this is this. Yeah. When, when the intelligence gave you a report as a president, yes. then you go your own way. Okay. You should go and build your own oh, okay. Okay. and get it done. Not well. just be taking what Not you're be being taking fed. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay. Um, stay with us, please. We'll be right back. Got to take a quick break. Okay, welcome back, and um, Alaji Hassan Abdul Aziz Sunny, communications uh, professional and opinion molder, is our guest. And um, actually, we also had arranged to have Colonel Hassan Stan Labo, our security consultant, on as well. But some days are like this, and things don't quite work out the way we want. Um, uh, but Hassan, coming back now, so are we saying that? Um, the president's communication strategy is faulty. Yes. Even uh, the communication strategy anchored by the media advisor, by saying that, look, president has a right to do this, he has a right to do this, he has a right to choose one to do this, and want to do that. Mm. I see it as aggressive. Okay. You know, I'm going to come back to that because I have someone on the line, uh, Mr. George. Good morning, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Thank you very much for calling in. And good morning, Salah Yassan. Good morning, Mr. George. Uncle Yari, uh, much as I do agree that the president needed to be faster in his reaction to what is happening around Taraba, Benue, and, and that area, I want to uh, disagree with uh, Mr. Sam Oman said I called earlier. I used to read his articles in the Nation newspaper. Most of the people that are bloating this subject, what they have in the top of their mind is accusation of the, of the president that because he is a Fulani, that is why he is allowing Fulani people to go, go haywire and kill people, which is not true. The Fulanis, I mean, the, the headsmen have been killing before. Most of the people that are saying all these things are supporters of the opposition party. There were, there were several killings by the uh, Fulani people before now. We did not hear of where the, the, the previous president, the immediate past president, visited any of them. I'm not saying that the current president should follow the same thing. He needs to increase his speed of, you know, reaction. That I agree. But blowing it up out of proportion and politicizing it, I will not agree. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, this is part of the challenge when we have conversations like this. Uh, one, it can be seen as being blown out of proportion, depending on what side of the divide you are. Um, but what Mr. George brought up, that because the president is a full any man and there are Fulani, uh, Fulani people being aggrieved, I think at best is just a part of it. It's not the whole. It's not even, I don't think, a major part. But the fact that Mr. President could be seen to be uncaring, which I think most people would, add, would, would just say, forget it, you, you, you got it all wrong. But the evidence, the man doesn't show up when an emotional response is required. Now, it goes back to what I was saying earlier that Mr. President, when he, was a milit when he was in political office, I don't even know how to say that properly, he wasn't a politi politician. He was a soldier in office. And, um, well, soldiers don't really engage like politicians. And that's the whole big difference about, does Mr. President actually see himself now as a civilian president who once in a former life used to be a general, but now he's a... And people have different expectations. 
Uh, that's why military government is not the most popular because you, you, nobody is disappointed by not being able to approach them. That's the way they are. But a civilian president, they feel that, you know, this is flesh of my flesh. And uh, so far, uh, what Mr. George calls, calls blowing up uh, is really underlining the point that, sorry, sir, uh, we just expected that there will be sympathy. Uh, there isn't sympathy. And you were explaining to us that there could be a strategy about this that we don't understand. Well, uh, that strategy, it wasn't made for Africans or what? It wasn't made for Africans, for, for Hausa, Fulani, Yoruba, Hausa, Fufu. They, uh, there has to be strategy for us to understand because most people are saying, this president is cold, he's cold. Um, being cold is a matter of definition. Um, it's like when people are talking about restructuring. Mr. A's perception of restructuring is different from Mr. B's perception of restructuring. <laughs> so when you say somebody is cold, so the response you get from people is going to be different. You understand? And when you see as a leader, first of all, he was first ambushed by saying he is the grand patron of Mieta Allah. He is a full animal. Now, when I said the president could be seen to be cold, um, you know how there are people, not everybody, there are people who are in love but are not expressive. And uh, it takes somebody else to know that, oh, they're so deeply in love you wouldn't imagine, but they're not expressive. Uh, perhaps Westerners are a bit more expressive. All that pecking on the cheek, all that shoulder bumps, and just generally showing that we are. Unless we're going to say that, well, that is for them. For us here, it's different. But I think Africans, we, 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 this humanity thing tends to overflow with us. So Mr. President is not towing that line. There is a need for Mr. President to improve. You understand? I to said up it earlier. his game. I said in the PR department. Yes, he should be much more prompt. You understand? In response. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon. Yakub has been waiting for about three, four minutes. I'm so sorry, Mr. Yakub. Good morning, sir. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Jari. And then good morning, sir. Good, good morning. morning. And uh, good morning to Mr. Azan. Good yeah. morning. Uh, Mr. Jari, I, I, I want to begin by saying this morning that uh, the people that are Mr. President are giving somebody like us that hard chance of uh, Mr. President Somebody like uh, Mr. Elijah Azan in the studio, somebody like George that just called earlier now, they give us a job to do in our locality. Why am I saying that? See, Jory, number one, the people that handle Mr. President is the Mr. President our enemy. And then I have a reason for saying, if you are handling information of Mr. President, politically advised to Mr. President, you, if you cannot tell your boss the truth, you are number one enemy of that, your boss. If I would be Mr. President, I have opportunity to be president in this country. I could make sure that somebody like Babajide uh, Otitoloju, I'm very sorry to mention his name. I would try to make sure whether to even beg him to come and be my political advisor. <coughs> because this is the somebody that will look into his boss eyes and tell him the truth. And then if you can tell your boss the truth, you are looking for the progress of that, your boss. Politically, I could people that handle Mr. President does not tell Mr. President that you should go to those places before now. I will say that, Mr. Yori, it is unfortunately that we can find ourselves in this kind of station for a long time. Until we do things, what is that thing that we need to do? The mode of operation of our institution in this country must be changed must be changed in the sense that in Taraba State, in Bernard State, a station where there are people attacking people, anti-security agencies are waiting for president to give them direction before they can go into operation. We should change that mode of operation because a station where there is a governor of a state, he cannot even look to call the commissioner of a state that come. This is what I want you to do, Mr. Yori. The situation we find ourselves until we go back to, secure, to state police, we can be able to stop this issue. Thank mm. and God bless you. Indeed, thank you very much for calling in. You know what I think, uh, Hassan? Um, I, I'm personally, individually, me, I'm just thinking that Mr. President would rather get on with the job, uh, just keep his head down, get on with the job, without all this 
uh, the other political necessities, the political cosmetics of going out to the field, pressing flesh. You must be seen here. You must, people must know your opinion there. So look, Mr. President seems to me to just want to put his head down, be given directions, let people see, sort it out, not realizing that it's you that everybody wants to see. I know you don't know how you're going to manage your time. You're so busy, but everybody needs to see you. Now people are saying that election is around the corner. Now you're forcing yourself to do those things. That's the way it's perceived. You know, now you're forcing yourself to do these things because you know that very, very shortly you're going to come and be knocking their door, metaphorically speaking, and you know they're going to be able to say, where were you when we needed you? Now you need us, you're coming here. Fayoshe has said as much. It might be uncharitable, it might be harsh. Indeed, it might be true. Whatever depends on what side of the fence you are. So I don't know that it's necessarily, and this is my opinion, I don't know it's a problem of the, of the, of the people handling the president. It's the president's, the, the way the president is, is what the people are going to have to fit into. That, I think, is the big challenge. Somebody else is on the line. Bode in Joss. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yori. You have kept me for long, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Uh, uh, my friend, you will be listening to TVC now all over. Because what I want to say now, because TVC has become a popular television in Nigeria. Congratulations, sir, for that. Thank you, sir. What I just want to say is that TNB is somebody that we love so much. Your guests in that station have been following him most of the time when you call him. It's not saying the truth to the presidency now. We should not deceive ourselves. TNB was somebody that everybody loved. I have to tell you one thing. My wife, I married inside this house. Pre-2015 election, my wife is always quarreling with me. Why are you supporting this man? I said, tell me the reason I should not support this man. If I tell you what my wife says, you will be surprised. I'm the one campaigning up and down for Buhari. My wife told me that he cannot vote for Buhari. I said, why? He said the man is old. He will not know what is happening now. That this is not 1983. I said, no, this man has integrity. And we need integrity in this nation to move forward. My friend in, in, in Kaduna, they will be listening to me. Some of them are professors. They argue with me, and I argue with them. I don't know how I will go back to go and campaign to them. Because the way, the people that are having the president, they don't, they, they, they are not helping the man at all. They have made, they, 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 they make people that are telling people that uh, Buhari is anti-Christian, anti-other tribe. They are making them to get the field day. And me, I still believe PMB is somebody that loves this nation. PMB is somebody that has this nation at heart. But I'm surprised those people they are calling the Kaaba, how they were able to handle this man. I'm surprised this is still bad in me. Because I was not expecting Mr. President to go to all those states late by now. I was expecting Mr. President to just visit all those states, even Sampara. He should go there. Look at the way they are killing people, rustling cows. Huh? It's so painful. Even the, those children that they... I just look at my daughter when she was going to school this morning. And I compare my daughter who is in the SS1. I look at those girls they are taking away. How the family will be sleeping for heaven's sake, my brother? It's so painful. Clearly, what my wife say, you will be surprised. I'm the one campaigning up and down for Buhari. My wife told me that he cannot vote for Buhari. I said, why? He said the man is old. He will not know what is happening now that this is not 1983, I say, no, this man has integrity. And we need integrity in this nation to move forward. My friend in, in, in Kaduna, they will be listening to me. Some of them are professors. They argue with me, and I argue with them. I don't know how I will go back to go and campaign to them. Because the way, the people that are having the president, they don't, they, they, they are not helping the man at all. They have made, they, 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 they make people that are telling people that uh, Buhari is anti-Christian, anti-other tribe. They are making them to get the field day. And me, I still believe PNB is somebody that loves this nation. PNB is somebody that has this nation at heart. But I'm surprised those people they are calling the Kaaba, how they were able to handle this man. I'm surprised this is still bad in me. Because I was not expecting Mr. President to go to all those states late by now. I was expecting Mr. President to just visit all those states, even Sampara. He should go there. Look at the way they are killing people, rustling cows. 
Ah, it's so painful. Even the, those children that they, I just look at my daughter when she was going to school this morning, and I compare my daughter who is in the SS1, and look at those girls they are taking away. How the family will be sleeping for heaven's sake, my brother? It's so painful. KB is somebody that we love so much. KB is somebody that we think that can remove Nigeria from this problem we are, we are having. My, my brother, it's so painful. What Sam Omasa yes said is the right thing. Let that my brother there tell the president. We all love President Buhari. We want him to succeed. We don't want him to fail. If President Buhari fails, I have failed. All right, thank then. Thank you very much. Indeed. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. The only thing that I would add by my own way of my own personal comment on what you've just said is that it's not about ageism. Uh, you can strike that out because um, it's, you know, it, it, it's really, as I think, it, it's really about the, 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 the attitudinal makeup of the president. Some people are like that. They're unflappable. They, you know, they, don't, they chill. And now, you can do that as a military officer. You can be unflappable and chill as a military officer and just make like this and nobody knows what's going on in your mind. You're strategizing, thinking of the problem. Uh, but as a politician, you're just going to have to indicate that I feel your pain. You can cry, I can cry with you. You laugh, I can laugh with you. Now, that's not President Buhari, a la Western democracy. So people can come back and probably say to me, you're a chill. This is not the West. This is how we are here and uh, people are just better learn to deal with it. Is that what we're saying? Because Mr. you're not going to teach Mr. President, uh, the, Mr. Pre the, uh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Mr. President is already set in his ways. He cares, but he's not very demonstrative, it seems to me. Now, politicians will not, th no politician can thrive if he's not going to be de demonstrative and say that, I feel you, I, I know what's going on inside of you, and we're all working on that. Uh, you remind me of, uh, of a contemporary writer called Mark Twain. He said... Mark Twain is not very contemporary anymore. Huckleberry Finn, <laughs> Tom Sawyer's cabin, <laughs> not that Mark Twain. You know what's happening? Um, Mark, Mark Twain, he said, time is too slow for those who wait. And... When you look at it this way, is this it's better to be late than to be delayed. Okay, okay. Thank you. It, you see, the issue is this. I spoke about the strategies. The strategies might be faulty. For it's an African faulty, environment. For, not for African environment. For humanity. Uh -huh. Forget about Africa. Let us base our emphasis on humanity. We believe in him. We like him because of his integrity. Of his integrity. But of, the way he's going but, but, about but the way, running the way, our the affairs. Way, the way, the, the, the response. Yes, when the we hurt. When we hurt. It's not, it's not, it's not that kind of, uh, it's, it's very slow as far as we are concerned. You understand? So people that said it, we have two schools of thought. Well, okay. Some are saying it for political reasons because the election is by the corner. Yeah. It's around the corner now. I'm you sure understand? it's on Mr. President's mind too. Some people are saying it because they like Mr. President. Mm. The way Mr. Bode from George, from Joss said it. You understand? But what is very clear, President is accessible. Okay. You understand? L I'm sorry, sir. Because I have a call from the UK and the charges are horrible, let me quickly bring him in. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Esho. Good morning. Hello, Esho in the UK. Are you there? Good morning. Y yes, good morning. Okay, thank you for calling in. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Yeah, um, uh, uh, Mr. Yori, um, I, I need to say, I want to, I want to disagree with some caller who said the, who said the gentleman right beside you uh, is being uh, uh, needed with the president. No, I disagree in total. The man, as he does, been doing well, talking. Uh, the problem with this, as men feel, with uh, uh, the president just coming out this time, to me, he's coming out this time, it's not bad, that bad. You see, the president, he doesn't need to go to bed me immediately, the, the, the problem started there. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to say that, I'm just being blunt, saying it the way it is. Um, but the media group should be blamed. They are intelligent, but they lack, but they lack native wisdom. You see, they'll come out, the president can do this, he can do that, he has the right to do that, 
fine, you may have the right to, not to go and to go, but you should exhibit some level of, uh, they should exhibit some level of native wisdom in handling matters. All right. Tact and um, diplomacy. I'm so sorry, I, 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 I can't go further because uh, something distracted me. I've been trying for ages to reach you. And I don't know what is wrong with the telephone system. There. It's going through. They don't. They, they never. They refuse to connect me. But so you could. I would just say, at this point in time, the president should really engage his media group. All or right. Even start them and bring in some people who can handle it very well. He, they, they talk about his age. Age has got nothing to do with this. I agree with that. Age has nothing but to do with Mr. it. Mr. They talk about Mr. is go slow. Let me tell you something. It's, it, the thing is even appears so funny to the president himself when they say he is trying to be careful because we know the nature of Nigerians. If he should do something, they can even tell him to be another financially. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying everything has been well so far so good. But you know what, Mr. President, should wake up. And do things the right way. He was, he was, he was there in 1983, fine as a military head of state. You know what I mean? He was younger then. Uh, but uh, at the same uh, time, uh, Mr. Esho, you, you said the president is doing fine. You said the president should wake up. Yeah, he should wake up. Okay. He should wake up. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling in. Appreciate your call. Um, so there will be different strokes for different folks, as yeah. we see. Yeah. Um, not to belabor the point, we're stuck with Mr. President's uh, uh, what profile makeup. He is who he is. He is Muhammad Buhari. That is not going to change today. A man of integrity. A man of integrity. You know, uh, 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 an excellent soldier. Uh, uh, you know, uh, well, we need to also add a consummate politician. Yes. And that is the part that is being messed with now. Look, the consummate Mr. politician Yori, part. Mr. Yori, I'm confused about this, your emphasis on politician. You see, this word politician is tainted with a lot of negative meanings. No, we mean it in the best way possible no, now. The issue, no, the you, issue, you're going the to issue, the Nigerian the interpretation. Is a, a politician, yes. a Nigerian interpretation, mm -hmm. is a man with two faces. Well, it's a man. Well, that, no, no, no. Look, well, he, it's a man that uh, speaks from both sides of the th mouth. That, that definition it's is a just, man. That definition it's a is man convenient. That smiles all over. It's convenient now. It's a comedian. It's a showman. No. That is the definition of politician in Nigeria. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not why they study political science no, in universities. No, 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 no. That's not why they study political science in universities. No, you know? it's an interpretation. There's no way you can stop people from interpreting things in congenial with their own psychology. Okay. The issue is this. You are saying you are saying. But you're not reaching the people's time. minds. No, the people's mind is very clear. You got, Mr. Said, President is reaching their heads. No, no. We've it, got to cancel out corruption. Do, do, do We've got to what? take out uh, Boko Haram. All of these are very, very Mr. their heads. Mr. But Mr. when Mr. people Mr. die... Mr. President, it's very, very clear. You understand? This issue of security issue mm -hmm. is a very, very complicated issue. Oh, I, it's very, I, know, I know. And security is a business of all. It's not only for the experts. All right. It's for every one of okay. us. Okay. Okay. Let me bring in Ted in uh, Makrodi. Good morning, Ted. Uh, Yuri, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for calling yeah, in. I'm highly disappointed in what is happening in Nigeria. Why are policies cosmetic in nature? That when people should not pretend this time around. Like in my village, almost so, in Lady Mogan, about 24 people were killed on Monday. Children coming from school, children in the age of 10, 5, is coming from school, and they were all murdered. Is it the fault of the children or the women that they killed? I know the president cannot be everywhere. What is the position of, of these, um, what they call the um, uh, chief security officers of, of the state, of all the states? Why is this killing? God said that shall not kill. Why is this killing? When yeah. this killing saw the problem, saw policies 2019, it happened 2015, and it's happening again. I was going to remain like this forever. Yeah, but, oh, we, uh, but we're talking about the visit of the president and. Uh, whether yeah, it is timely, was, whether it is belated. It was a, it's a political campaign. Well, it's belated because people have died. Is it going to assume those people to come to life now? All right, then. People, yeah. Is, is, is it going to make the people that they've killed come back to life? All right, then. Well, thank you very much is for calling in. 
Thank you very much for calling in, Ted. Um, even belated or not, as um, you know, uh, Hassan said, uh, better late than never. You know, and half a loaf of bread, and so on and so on. But we don't want to be using those analogies anymore. Maybe Mr. President can take it up a notch. I don't know. He probably is hearing all of this. You yourself have expressed that desire. I think everybody just wants to, you uh, know, Mr. be down President with Mr. President. Be... In closing. Yeah. Mr. President, we have confidence in him. And we knew he would do the needful. But he should be prompt. And he should energize his uh, security chiefs to be up and doing. Okay. And you should have a second look at the intelligence report. All right then. Well, he's, he's checked this out and it was after checking it out that he now moved to the theater to go and have what has been referred to as an on the spot assessment. Compa but, comparing Mr. President's visit with that of wedding in Kano, I don't see them as the same thing. They're not comparable. They're not. I've been trying to juxtapose them. No, they're not. But I've not seen it. They're not. You understand? But it's just because, that strategically, because this issue, this strategically issue, for the president issue, that doesn't go no, to too many places, the, huh? the, for, for the president to go to a social engagement before this but, particular but, but recently, one. But recently, the president was in Kano, and he now proceeded to Dora from Kano, yes. where people, many uh, uh, governors, of, uh, of APC went there to, to console him and to condole him over the death of his siblings. So, so I don't think it's, it's a far-fetched thing. When people are trying to compare, I'm, I'm reading politics into it. Yes, can you imagine if all those people who went to console with him had just stayed home and expressed their, 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 their sympathy That's and, right. uh, and their, their heartbreak, uh, heartbreak and had not done the extra one of going there to sympathize with him. So that's what we're saying for the president to do to the entire country as well. I know you can't disagree with that, but thank you very much, Hassan Abdulaziz. Thank you for blocking me. <laughs> so that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. It'll be Jones Usen in the chair. I am Yori Polani. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>